New drone applications are proliferating all the time. And for these to advance as needed, companies need to know they can get just the right technology and integrate it with their systems as soon as possible. We're at the Paris Air Show to talk to a French company called Parrot about how they're helping to achieve this. We're also going to learn about the company's Anafi UKR Micro UAV that's been developed to answer the needs of the Ukraine conflict. We are announcing the Chuck 3.0, which is an advanced AI autopilot for any UAV platform. And we're also announcing the Parrot Anafi UKR, which is our new range of uh, smart, rugged ISR micro UAV for public safety, defence and government. So what sort of public safety, what type of government missions might that uh, be used for? The, the Anafi UKR is designed for uh, government and public safety use. A good example of this would be something like search and rescue. So there's been a hurricane or there's been uh, storms, etc. You have uh, advanced EO and IR uh, camera systems, a thermal and standard camera system, ideal for uh, search and rescue purposes. And then we have a lot of advanced AI in our systems. So one of the key features uh, on the entire Anafi UKR range and also in the Chuck 3.0 is optical navigation. So op what's optical navigation? Optical navigation enables you to fly and navigate in uh, GNSS denied or GPS denied environments. So after, if we go back to that example of search and rescue, there wouldn't be GPS working probably after a hurricane, but the Anafi UKR or any UAV uh, platform that's got uh, Chuck 3.0 integrated would be able to uh, navigate, know where it is, and be able to complete the mission uh, on its own, not relying at all on uh, GPS. And how is it that the application of AI technology enables this sort of level of control and consistency? Firstly, we're using a lot of different algorithms in order to do that. So the, the, both systems are processing and computing everything on board. So the advanced AI that we're using, if we take, for example, we go back to the optical navigation, so we are using four different algorithms that are basically using either the IMU sensors on the drone, they're using base maps and also uh, neural networks. The AI then comes in by combining all of these together in order for the drone to basically calculate and understand where it is when there is no GPS. So the, the AI comes in to say, okay, I can recognize the difference between the river and the field or the river and the road and it will overlay that pattern using our algorithms which are embedded with AI and then it will correct itself to know, okay, it looks those up, cross-references those to the base map and will then say, okay, I'm here. So therefore, uh, the pre-programmed mission, I'm going here and here and I'm coming back exactly to the pilot. Right. And I think you mentioned that the Chuck unit can easily be adopted by other drone manufacturers for their own purposes. Tell us a bit about how your technology enables uh, companies to speed up Yes. development of their drones. So the, the, the Chuck 3.0 is an advanced uh, AI autopilot. So it takes basically our 15 years of experience in developing micro drones and we put all of this into one module that can be easily integrated in a rapid manner to basically any UAV platform. So when we say a module, we've got the full flight control, we've got the optics, we've got sovereign security in terms of the software and the component sourcing. All of this enables a rapid integration so you can uh, take advantage of uh, all of this technology. The average integration time is around about four months. So it's cutting down years and years of development and bringing our 15 years of uh, experience in terms of all of the, the sensor integration, the mission control, the flight control software, etc. all of this into uh, one module, as well as the latest in radio connectivity. So both the Anafi UKR and the Chuck benefit from a new military radio that we've developed called Mars, as well as 5G and also a backup radio uh, working with LoRa. So you have all of this uh, in Chuck 3.0 and in the uh, Anafi UKR range as well. In the current environment, you know, governments want to ensure yes. the highest level of sovereignty. Yes. Tell us how you're addressing that. Okay, so the, the sovereign has become key, uh, as well as the speed to uh, develop the, the sovereign aspect has become uh, very much in, uh, in, in um, 
in the last few years. Uh, we at Parrot adopted a policy uh, in 2021 uh, that we removed ourselves from the reliance upon the Chinese uh, supply chain. So this was uh, to start with uh, to ensure NDAA, so which is part of the, the, the US's uh, blue UAS program, to be compliant with this, which the uh, Anafi UKR already is. But we have no reliance on China for uh, supply chain, so we are a, a European-based company. We are taking components from the, the best of the best, be that the US, Japan, Taiwan, etc. We've been developing quadcopters since uh, 2010. So the, the Anafi UKR is the latest generation of sub one kilo micro drone for public safety, defense and government. It's the new generation replacing the Anafi USA. So the Anafi USA was a system that we developed for the original US Department of Defense SRR program back in 2020. So the Anafi UKR was developed to answer the needs of the Ukraine conflict. So what are the needs? One, it goes back to your topic on uh, sovereignty. So you, you need uh, uh, a sovereign friendly drone. Uh, you need uh, a drone that has a very ruggedized form factor. You need a military radio system. So you're operating in very, very harsh environments in terms of radio. Uh, so you need frequency hopping, can't be smoothed, can't be jammed. And of course, it goes back to the, what we were talking about with the optical navigation, where the drone needs to be able to navigate without GPS. So the, the, some of the f uh, fundamentals uh, were for the requirements of Ukraine, which are very, very transferable then to government and public safety use uh, in the rest of the world. Um, there is another key factor that we also developed for the Anafi UKR. This has a, a plug-in remote antenna option. So you very simply plug uh, a module here, which is called the Mars Ranger. You plug this into your existing Sky Controller UKR, which is the ground control system for the Anafi UKR and the Chuck for that matter. And it will enable you to do uh, safe distance um, remote operations. So as an example, you would have the, uh, the Mars Ranger outside. You would have an ethernet cable uh, up to about 100 meters, Cat5 plugged into this controller in the bunker or in the command center, and you would be able to pilot your drone uh, from a, a safe distance. And this is all plug and play uh, and available uh, in the pack.